Three. Hey guys, I'm Chris Valdez, the founder and uh, CEO for Rising Consulting Partners. We're a franchise uh, consulting firm in the industry of fran franchising. We help candidates just like yourself every single day looking for franchise options. But I'm a franchise owner, but today, Danielle and I have the unique opportunity of hearing Amber, who's the uh, franchise owner of Uptown uh, Cheapskate, talk about her actual franchise. So Amber, if you can tell the audience very briefly, just what were you doing before you got into franchising and what made you choose franchising over an independent business? So I um, switched industries. I was an engineer um, before I decided to open up my business. Uh, I knew that I didn't have the knowledge because I had zero retail experience okay. and I needed more support than what a normal person probably would need. Sure. Um, so I, I, I knew I needed that. So when I was looking for a franchise, I came across that kind of new a lot of people think that franchising is a given, and they don't support you, and uh, that it's just royalty, royalties, royalties, you pay a franchise fee, it's all this money, I can just do it by myself. Could you have done this franchise by yourself without the support of the franchise corporation and the model that they have? In short, no, absolutely not. Um, I needed the extra support um, from a technical standpoint, our appraisal system, um, and I needed just the general retail now, I believe that I've heard you say that your husband is an attorney. I'm not sure if he's currently an attorney or has he left his job still? Or no, he... no. He, so he uh, is a corporate attorney. Okay. Um, our financial goal is to get to a point where he can stop working and teach us his passion. Okay. Um, so we want to get to three stores. I think that'll get us to where we need to be. And currently, you have, is this just one store or do you have multiple stores? So I have one store right now. Okay. Um, I'm working on opening my second. It's about okay. half an hour from here. Excited. When do you guys plan to open that second location? Uh, so we, I want to open, Estimated. great grand opening, I want January. Yes. Okay, yeah. all right, so about a year from now. Year from now, now the investment, if I heard you correctly, when you were speaking in there, you spent about $400,000 to get the store open. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to take four hundred dollars and pay yourself back and kind of break even into the business? Um, so I think it was a small business. Okay. I contributed 25% yeah. okay. um, which is 100000 I paid myself back that 100000 So you guys already, you guys said you've broken even on your business at this point? Um, well, I haven't made my business loan completely sure. back yet, but I've paid myself back all of the equity that I've had. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, guys, you know, first of all, I want to thank you for even taking this time to speak to us. Uh, secondly, you know, it's always an opportunity to meet franchisees and also franchisors to see kind of what they're up to and how they're growing in, into the community. Oh, guys, the biggest thing that holds everyone back from doing anything, and Amber, you probably agree, is fear and anxiety. I came from the medical device industry. I was a orthopedic rep. I did knees, hips, spine hardware. I was talking to surgeons every single day. And very intelligent people who work for massive corporations. Danielle has a completely different background than I do. And she's also a mother of a two-year-old. And we have another partner who's not here with us today, Martin Grant, who has his own personal experiences. What makes our team unique in franchising is that, first of all, franchisees are very cordial to speak to us. I'm also a franchisee, but she and did not have to do that. But secondly, we get to listen to their experiences, talk to these companies, and find out what's working and what's not. Our firm helps individuals just like yourself to look at your options, whether it's a $30,000 investment or if it's a $400,000 investment or a bud. Quite frankly, it doesn't matter. We're trying to find what's the right fit for you. If you're looking into business options, just like Amber, she looked at non-franchise opportunities, right, Amber? Yeah. And then she looked into a franchise option as well. And ultimately, her husband and her decided the right fit was a franchise. You're hearing her story today. I didn't make this up. I'm not inflating the numbers. You're hearing it directly from a franchisee today. Let our firm help you out. Call us to free consultation. Area code eight six four six three eight one zero four six. Look forward to talking to you. Thanks. Okay, I just want to add this is not a niche niche market. This is the future. If you're con if you're concerned with sustainability and something eco friendly, fast fashion is the past. This is the future. So if you're in that Tampa area, also please visit Uptown Cheesecake. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Amber. Yeah, you're